What's up guys, back with another educational video and this week we're talking about high protein diets and kidney function. For decades, there have been many people, including nephrologists, suggesting that we should consume a low protein diet in order to optimize kidney function and prevent kidney disease and renal failure. Now this stemmed from recommendations that were given to people with uh, renal disease who were told eat low protein. The reasoning for that was that protein has a nitrogen on it. The amino acids that you consume in protein have nitrogen, uh, specifically an ammonia group on them. That ammonia group, when it's removed from the carbon skeleton, must be disposed of uh, through the kidneys via excretion of urea. Now, I know ammonia sounds really scary, but it's not like your body just lets ammonia float around in their bloodstream. That's not how it works. Um, it's converted to urea, which is harmless, and excreted in your urine. But the idea was that if you're eating high protein, uh, you've got more urea that you've got to excrete, it's going to be harder on the kidneys. So they came up with this hypothesis oh, decades and decades ago, probably over 50 years ago. Unfortunately, a lot of medical professionals took that, which seemed to be a reasonable hypothesis at the time, then projected that onto healthy people and said, well, if you want to not get kidney disease, you should eat low protein. We have, to date, hundreds of studies now. There is very little to no evidence that high protein diets harm a healthy kidney. And a new study, a new meta-analysis from uh, Stu Phillips' lab touched on this. They examined over 100 studies and they looked for uh, high protein versus low protein and high protein was defined as 1.5 grams per kilogram or over 100 grams of protein total per day whereas low protein was defined as under 5% uh, of total daily intake of calories from protein I believe. Really low versus mm, moderately high and uh, they were looking for changes in GFR and GFR is what's known as glomerular filtration rate. So GFR is an indicator of how well the kidneys are functioning. So they uh, extracted the studies that uh, fit their criteria, and I believe after their exclusion criteria, they were left with 1,358 subjects total. What they found was there was no difference in the change in GFR between low protein and high protein groups. And their conclusions were, it doesn't appear that higher protein intakes have a negative impact on the kidneys in healthy people. Uh, now that being said, there's also some research in people with kidney disease now. Uh, for example, uh, there was a study done at the University of Illinois where they gave, I believe it was 25 grams of whey protein a day to people with, I think, uh, stage three uh, renal disease. And they found that the group that wasn't getting the protein was no better off than the group that was getting the protein. And one of the problems is, especially with kidney disease, is you can have wasting and you need to repair that damaged tissue as well. So having low protein might actually impede that as opposed to possibly having a small amount of a very high quality protein source. I'm not saying if you've got end-stage renal disease, you should go and supplement with protein. That's not what I'm saying. But there certainly needs to be more research done on this because our idea that a low protein diet may help an unhealthy kidney might be flawed as well. But as far as the idea that a protein hurts a healthy kidney, there just isn't much research to suggest that. The only research I've seen that kind of points that way is mostly correlational data. Most of the randomized control data as well as the systematic reviews have shown there to be basically no effect of high protein diets on a healthy kidney. So where did this kind of myth come from? Well, some of the markers doctors use to look for altered kidney function are blood urea nitrogen, uh, as well as creatinine levels. Blood urea nitrogen and creatinine both can be elevated in not only people who train, but people who consume a high protein diet and people who have more muscle mass. So I can't tell you the number of clients I've had who've told me, oh my God, I've got kidney failure. And I look at their blood work and I say, no, you're somebody who lifts and you consume a high protein diet. And when these people actually went and had their kidney function tested, uh, they were fine. The problem is many medical doctors, um, they get very dogmatic about numbers on paper and they don't look at the actual person. I'm not saying this is all MDs. There are some really good ones out there. There's also some that are very dogmatic. If you have somebody who has kidney failure or kidney disease, will they have bl elevated blood urea, nitrogen, and creatinine? Most likely, yes. But 
just because somebody has elevated BUN and creatinine does not mean they have kidney failure or kidney disease. And that is the disconnect that is happening. And the research out there, it just doesn't support the idea that high protein intakes harm a healthy kidney. Don't worry about your kidneys. Enjoy your protein. It seems to be fine for your kidney health and it'll help you build muscle and perform better in the gym. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please click the like and subscribe button as well as check out some of the fine products we offer. Also, we just came out with a new nutrition coaching app called Carbon Diet Coach that you can find in the App Store and on Android, designed by myself, Holly, and registered dietitian, Keith Crocker, that will give you customized nutrition recommendations based on your goals and individual metabolism. And you get that for less than $10 a month. So go to the App Store, Go to the Android store, search Carbon Diet Coach, or check out the links in the description. Also, check out my courses and my workout builder and all the books we sell because we love spreading good information. So we'd love for you to check out some of our products. If not, just appreciate you watching the video and hope you guys have a great one.